Welcome to Electron Online. Just like in an RC circuit where we found that the voltage across the capacitor drops in an exponential form, like this equation right here, we can see that in an RL circuit, a circuit that contains an inductor and a resistor, the current through the circuit drops exponentially in the very same fashion. There's two time constants. In an RC circuit, the time constant is equal to the product of the resistance and the capacitance. With an inductor circuit, the time constant is equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. And that makes sense. What an inductor does in a circuit is it opposes a change in the current. So as the current is trying to diminish itself, as it's running through the resistor and it's diminishing itself because energy is being taken out of the inductor, the inductor is trying to slow that process down. It fights against the change in the current, which means the bigger the inductor, the longer the process takes. And that's why L for inductance is in the numerator. But the resistance makes the current in the circuit smaller. The larger resistance using Ohm's law, of course we know that the current in the circuit is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. So as the resistance becomes larger, the current to the circuit becomes smaller. And therefore, since there's a smaller delta between the initial current, the smaller initial current because the larger resistor and the final current, presumably zero in this case, then the process will not take as long. And so therefore, a larger resistor makes for a smaller time constant. That's why R is in the denominator in an RL circuit. But the process and the equation looks exactly the same. Notice that in the RC circuit, we had V equals V initial times E to the minus T over tau, the time constant, which in that case was R times C, where in this case, it's the current is equal to the initial current times E to the minus T over tau, where the time constant here is L over R. And just like before, because it's the same exponential function, we can see that at time equals zero, we have the initial current. After one time constant, the current went down to 36.8% of its initial value. After two time constants, it's only 13.5% of its initial value. After three time constants, it's down to 5%. Four times constant, it's 1.8% of its initial value. And after five time constants, you're down to less than 1%, about 0.7% of the initial current in the circuit. So the current diminishes in an exponential form, just like the voltage diminished across the capacitor in an RC circuit. We can say that after five time constants, whatever those are, depending upon the size of the inductance and the size of the resistance, the current to the circuit is virtually zero. And so even though it's not quite zero, it's small enough where we can consider it zero after five time constants. As an example, let's say that the inductance is equal to, let's say, 0.2 Henry's, and let's say that the resistance is equal to 20 ohms. You can then see that the time constant would be equal to 0.01 second, 1 100 of a second. And so in this case, under these circumstances, with an inductor of 2 Henry's and a resistance of 20 ohms, it would take about 0.05 seconds for the current to go from its initial value to its final value or close to its final value of zero amps. And that's what we mean by the time constant in an RL circuit.